This is Def Bonds' smallest amplifier, and this is their biggest line of subs. And in this video, we're gonna be seeing if this little microamp over here can power this insane 4,000 watt RMS, 130 pound subwoofer. just came out with a whole new line of amplifiers they updated their mla line made them smaller and better and then they came out with an mla xs line that you can see over here y'all these things are super super tiny we got two channel amps four channel amps and of course mono block amps as well these mla xs uh, amplifiers are they're meant of course to be the smallest amplifiers that they make and over here we've got a couple of those Y'all, this is the smallest footprint you're going to get in an amplifier from Def Mons. To give you all a comparison, here is a Kicker Key 500.1, of course, 500 watts uh, RMS amp. And, of course, here's the Def Mons. This Def Mons guy is actually quite a bit smaller. As you can kind of see here, of course, thinner, shorter and not as wide and then over here we have the defbonts 45r series that means this guy has a four and a half inch coil this is of course the biggest line that they have out at the moment again this thing is almost 130 pounds in the 12 inch version hey heavier if you had the 15 or the 18 inch this guy is just insane so the question is can their smallest mono block amp that fits in the palm of your hand power this insane beast let's find out y'all Real quick, you know, when ordering this amp, first off, you get this beautiful box that they come in. They put a lot of attention to detail, even into the box, which is really cool. You get mounting screws, an Allen key, a nice long cable for your bass knob. You get your little bass knob. These things are pretty cool. What is neat about these guys is that this can be mounted any way you can imagine. So you could mount it like that, you know, screw it down like that. You could flip it over like that. Endless options. You can get a Def Bont sticker, warranty card, and the instructions manual. Over here, y'all, we, of course, have the specs for this guy. 200 watts at 4 ohms, 360 watts at 2 ohms, and 500 watts, of course, RMS at 1 ohm. And they rate the RMS power at 14.4 volts with 1% THD. Just so you can get a comparison of how tiny this little lamp is here it is next to their 9.5k atom series amp and then of course next to their 20k aak series amp <laughs> just insane over here we've got my little test bench set up had the setup that we can either run you know i've got this big boss 3 hooked up i've got this base 8k hooked up we're running off this little uh, big Jeff battery. This thing is actually pretty cool, y'all. It is tiny, tiny battery as well. Just insane how small stuff is getting. But anyway, we're going to be using this to power the uh, little amp. So we're going to get that hooked up and see what it can do. All right, we've got the little guy uh, makeshift kind of hooked up here. Everything is on, looking good. Got the little base knob hooked up. First off, we got this little black brick six and a half inch sub. Let's test this little guy out. Next up, I've got this little Scar SCR 10 just sitting down here on the shelf. Normally, I have this guy hooked up to my 3K just so I have a little bit of bass in the shop. Let's turn this little guy up and see what it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's find something a little bit bigger to hook up. Next up, we've got this little Amazon 15-inch sub. Of course, $100 fella. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Wow, guys. Got it set up on this little makeshift platform over here. This sub was literally jumping off of it. Hey, we're getting some power to this fella. Next up, let's try this SCAR EVL 
15. Stepping it up, we got this Black Brick sub. It's one of the first subs they sent me way back in the day, and it's pretty cool, so let's try it out. Next up, let's step it up again. We have this uh, Timpano TPT 3500. Take a look at that big, beautiful coil in there. I love that thing, and overall, this was a sweet sub. Let's test it out. Right, that was pretty sweet, but how can we step it up even better? Hmm. Over here, we have 95 pounds of Sundown goodness. That's right, guys. A little dirty, a little dusty, but this is the Sundown ZV6. Had this guy for about two years now. What an absolute mean machine this guy is. Let's test it out. Now this guy, of course, 95 pounds, which is a little heavier than I generally like subs. Hey, I'm a small guy, not overly easy to be lugging these things around, but you know, this thing is light compared to what we have next. <laughs> this thing weighs almost as much as me, guys. All right, fellas, time for the moment of truth. Can Defbonce's smallest amplifier, the palm size 500 watt MLA 500, power their biggest subwoofer line that they currently carry? Let's find out. All right, y'all, let's see what happens. Ah, there it is. Woo! Yes, sir. There you have it, YouTube. The very, very tiny new Defbonce amp over here. Hey, pushes the power, packs a nice punch. Hey, even able to power the biggest line of subs that they make. Pretty cool. And obviously, guys, any amp should be able to at least push any sub. But, hey, this sub is a big, beefy sub. Really, really heavy one. Uh, having that big of a voice coil actually does add a ton of weight. There's a lot more weight that the power has to move to bigger subs have much stiffer spiders. So whereas this guy could easily push a really small, really soft sub, it takes a lot more juice 
to really get a big, heavy, beefy sub moving. And you saw there, we had this guy moving pretty good. Well, guys, huge, huge shout out to Defmont for sending me this little amp to test out, see how it does. If you want to check this out, of course, will be a link down in the description below. Also got to give a big shout out to Big Jeff for letting me test out his new lithium battery. We are going to do some more testing with this battery on a bigger amp to see, you know, what it can really take. So we'll get that out soon, but figure to give a little sneak peek here. Anyway, guys, this is it for this video. Links to, of course, the Defmont stuff and the Big Jeff battery in the description below. Go check them out. Thank you all so, so much. Really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Please drop a like, leave me a comment, and of course, smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed what we did here today. That is going to do it for this video. Remember, as always, guys, keep basing on.